This is a film I made many years ago with family and friends at home. See if you can guess exactly when. Most of the information in it still seems relevant, even if the fashions have changed. So we're making it available again for your interest and enjoyment. See what you think. If you have doubts about wine at home, they really come to a head when you go to a restaurant. Your decisions come under a fierce spotlight. Depending on who your companion is, it can really be a trial by ordeal. So we're going to do a little sketch to show you some of the problems and some of the solutions. Here they come. I think I'd better disappear. Please don't call me sir. I'm not in the office now. I'd like you to call me Wally. All right. Wally. Gosh, I've never been anywhere as grand as this. Really? Well, it's home from home from me, as it were. Just relax. Leave everything to me. All right? Yes. Why are you whispering? Oh, sorry. <coughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> drinks. Uh, Eduardo. They know me here. Eduardo. The name's Robert, sir. Oh, yes, 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 of course. Um, Eduardo is, um, someone else. Would you like a drink before your meal, sir? Oh, certainly. <clears throat> certainly. Perhaps you'd like a few minutes, sir. Yes, exactly. Two few minutes on the rocks, please. Oh, I, I see. Uh, don't worry, I'll order for you. Thank you, Wally. Take your time, sir. Why do they have to make so many wines? Perhaps I can help. What are you doing here? I'm having dinner with you, Wally. Yes, of course you are. You're having dinner with me. Just the two of us. Yes, just the two. Yes, exactly. There's no one else, is there? Well, I don't have a steady boyfriend, if that's what you mean. Boys of my age seem so unsophisticated. Yes, exactly. Now, wine. Take your time. Time? Nearly half past eight. Uh, yes, time for a drink. Yes, please. Order a glass of the house white wine. Ah, there you are, Robert. Uh, two glasses of house white, please. Certainly, sir. Lovely. Don't worry. You're in good hands. At this stage, you don't know what you're going to eat. I don't know what we're going to eat. No. Or what sort of wine the restaurant offers. Or what prices it charges. You've established a bridgehead by ordering a preliminary glass. The House White will give you an instant reference point. House White. Thank you, sir. Robert. <coughs> Cheers. Cheers. A poor flat or sharp house wine is a warning. So reduce your risks when you come to order a full bottle to go with a meal. Don't spend a lot. This is lovely. It isn't bad, is it? And I haven't spent a lot. Sorry? A really good house wine is an encouragement to take a restaurant cellar seriously. I think we can take this restaurant cellar seriously, my dear. Good. It also leaves you with a welcome option of ordering a whole bottle of it. I'm starving. Of course, you'll probably choose your food first. First things first, choose the food. And then look for a wine. I'm so glad you could come. I'm glad too, Wally. Really glad. <laughs> I'm going to have the cellar. What would you like? Oh, I think I'd like a steak. Really? Oh, well, we'll need some red wine then. Heavens. There's no law that everybody's got to drink the same wine any more than that you've got to eat the same food. Yes, but two bottles. Sorry? Oh, nothing, nothing. You're, you're going to have the steak then, my dear. Two whole bottles of different wine may sound quite a lot for just two people. 
but it's really just a question of time stretched over a leisurely three hour dinner. It's not really excessive. If you are worried, order a half bottle. But the best tip of all is to order some water, bottled or just ordinary water, to go alongside your wine. Have you decided, sir? Yes, two glasses of water, please. Certainly, sir. Thank you, Wally. It'll keep your thirst at bay. It'll keep your thirst at bay. Thank you, Wally. Well, Robert, let me see. Chablis, 1981, that sounds nice. Yes, it looks fine. There's no grower's name, though, no merchant's name. Ask to see a bottle. I'd like to see a bottle of 239, please. 239? Very well, sir. <clears throat> Cheers. God, you're marvellous. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Here we are, sir. Ah, uh, yes. Um, uh, could you point it in that direction for a moment, do you think? Yes, I think that's long enough. Yes, that's a good grower, but the list says 1981, and this is 1982. Ask him if he's gotten in 1981 there. Look here, my man, your list says 1981, and this is 1982. Do you have any 1981 left? No, I'm sorry, sir. Oh. Then ask for 746. Please. Well, in that case, we'll have um, 746. Oh, 746. Very good, sir. We chose a much less expensive white wine because the list wasn't accurate. And we're glad to save our money for a jolly good red wine. We hope. You'll need that. Yes, uh, I'll need this uh, to order a red wine for my friend's steak. Yes, of course, sir. You're wonderful, Wally. You'd like a good red, wouldn't you, my dear? This Chateau Lafitte 1921 is bound to be good. You must have a very friendly bank manager, Wally. I'd go for one of those 1979 Santa Millions if I were you. Restaurants charge such whacking markups that the best place to drink your Chateau Lafitte is at home. Ah, thank you. Yes, that's it. Feel the bottle. Thank you. Oh, it's cold, isn't it? For obvious reasons, the cork and capsule should still be on when the waiter brings you the bottle. The point of the ritual tasting of the first drop is to make sure that that bottle is in good condition. The waiter will show you the cork first. Uh, could I? Just sniff it to see it smells sweet, not mouldy. Sweet as a nut. Individual bottles can go wrong in various ways. If a young white wine is yellowish or brownish and tastes flat, you've got perfectly good reasons for rejecting it. Well, it seems fine. If it tastes okay, mm. Quite okay. But it simply isn't what you were expecting. You haven't. Not unless you're on very good terms with the management or you're ready for a very long discussion. No. No, it's, uh, it's, it's fine. Thank you very much. Just occasionally, the cork has turned mouldy and tainted the wine. The word corked or corky means just that and nothing else at all. The wine tastes and smells like mould. Nothing can be done except open another bottle, which a decent restaurant will do without demur. Murphy's Law ensures that this only happens on first dates and the night you're the president of the club dinner. Tell him you'll take it slowly. Uh, we'll take it slowly, Robert. Take it slowly, sir. Ice bucket. Uh, ice bucket. Uh, we'll need an ice bucket. Oh, yes, certainly, sir. We don't want to <clears throat> rush things, do we, Deirdre? No. This is only our first date, as it were. Uh, allow me, sir. Oh, sorry, Robert. Don't worry. You can do it yourself. Well, <coughs> don't worry, Robert. I'll manage it. <clears throat> it's your wine. You can do what you like with it. It's our wine, Deirdre. And we can do what we like with it. To us. Cheers. I think I'd better disappear. <laughs> <laughs>